guys. So I wanted to do the crazy about lipstick tag and I'm going to do the version that Agnes Louisa Hagen made. I think she put like two different tags together. And the first question is, how many lipsticks do you have? I quickly went through my lipsticks in the Alex drawer. I store most of them there and then I probably have some lying around in purses and everywhere. But I counted 55 lipsticks, which is a lot. Um, I guess ideally I would have like maybe like six or something, but yeah, that's a lot. Um, how old were you when you started using lipstick? I didn't, I didn't really use lipstick until I was like maybe like 20 or something. I was more into lip glosses before lipsticks. Which lipsticks can you not walk out the door without? I can definitely walk out the door without any lipsticks. I'm more addicted to lip balms and lip glosses are kind of my thing. I just throw it in because it's so much easier to put on without a mirror. But if I... I mean, I switch around my lipsticks so much, so the one that I'm using that day, I'm, I'll just bring it with me. Sometimes, if not, a very like easy to just throw on very natural everyday color um, that I like is this elf mineral lipstick in runway pink and it looks like that very well used color for me it's um, it's like a muted soft natural pink with a tiny tiny bit of mauve thrown in there. Which lipstick do you use if you want to stand out? Um, I'd go for a darker more vampy lipstick if I want to stand out and that would be this really old H&M lipstick in Simply Divine. I don't think you can get this anymore. It looks like that. It's such a gorgeous color. Right there. Next question. What is your last purchase in lipsticks? It's not a purchase, but the last lipstick I got was a gift from my sister. It's from Inglot in the number 227. And it's a Gorgeous, gorgeous, like a um, dark nude, I would say. It's just like a darker version of the runway pink. It's a beautiful color. It's It looks very different on the lips than in the tube, but it's still really, really pretty. Which lipstick do you regret buying? There was one lipstick that was really hyped when I was around 2021 20, and it was this um, Gosh Darling number 134 everyone was going for a really 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 like concealer nude lipstick that was so trendy and I was trying to go with the flow and it just didn't work out I I do not look good in this color but the formula is perfect. It's really creamy and nice. So I um, found another way of using this. I actually just use it as a base to kind of wash out the color of my lips and then put on either a um, either a colorful lip gloss or I would try to change a lipstick, like layer this one first and then put this one on first and then layer it with another lipstick. It just changes up the lipstick a lot and you can experiment a lot with that technique. And then another one, I like all 
brown lipsticks pretty much that I've bought. It's not a real favorite. I don't look good in two, two brown lipsticks. This is another one from e.l.f. in the color Fantasy. It looks like, I mean, it's a pretty brown. It's just not very nice for me. That's how it looks like. They smell really good though. Uh, current favorites, like my all time, all time favorite, I think right now and has been for a few years is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in number 180 Vintage Pink. This is so pretty. If I ever get married, I will probably use this one. It's such a gorgeous, like, bridal color, I think. It's a true mauve. Okay, um, cheapest and most expensive. The cheapest one I have that I actually really like is another e.l.f. Essential Lipstick in Classy. This is, I mean, it's not a good formula. It's, it's drying to the lips and it's, it's not good in that way, but the color is so pretty and it's supposed to be a dupe for the Max Angel. That's how it looks like. And the most expensive is probably this Dior um, number 874 Fantastic Plum. This is also such a gorgeous, like, vampy, dark, dark, red, plummy color, like a burgundy. It looks so nice. Um, like, love, or obsessed with lipsticks. I would say I'm not obsessed but I really love lipsticks. And it's not like I can't live without lipsticks, but I just um, just like it. I like putting it on. I like having a lot to choose from. I like how it turns your whole, whole face around. And if you just put a little bit of concealer and mascara on and then just boom, a really bright, nice creamy lipsticks. It just looks like you spend an hour in the bathroom. So yeah, I love lipsticks. What was your first lipstick? It was the, it was this one, the H&M Simply Divine. I think it was this one. It, it might have been another one that I don't have anymore, but this is the oldest one that I have. Um, I think I bought this when I was around 20 and I'm 27 now, so maybe expired. Most used, I have a few of them. The most used, like this one is very well used, but I don't use it that much anymore because I'm not that into dark, dark, dark lips anymore. I mean, I like it just not as much. I'm more into either mauvey colors or nude pinks and the the runway pink is very well used and the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in Honey Nectar is also very well used. It's just so simple. This is also like a throw in the back kind of lipstick. Really nice. And I, I bought this um, Isadora Twist Up Glossy stick something in Sugar Crush. I bought a few other ones as well, but I like this one the most and I, I used it all throughout last summer. I don't have any more room here. It just, it's a very sheer but buildable pinky, natural pinky color. Very nice for summer when you are just always outside doing something, but you just want to, I don't know, throw something on without spending too much time. And the favorite brand is, I mean, I have a lot of these e.l.f. mineral lipsticks. They are really good and they're so cheap. I think they're like, I think they're three dollars or something. I have a lot of colors uh, and I, I really love all of them. They 
they have a good color variety and they are very easy to apply they just look really nice and um, they don't dry out the lips and I, I think that there's it's like a classy nice simple look to the packaging as well um, also I really like the Rimmel Moisture Renew um, lipsticks and and also this these um, lipsticks that they have in, in um, stick form are just awesome. I love those. Um, favorite finish? I don't know. I like a, a matte lipstick. It's just really hard to work with because you can't have chapped lips or anything at all. You have to have really nice moisturized lips to to wear uh, at least an lighter matte lipstick but it's it's really pretty and I love creamy lipsticks because they look so delicious on the lips but I guess a mixture between the matte and the, the creamy um, would be perfect so yeah just something that's moisturizing but that just that doesn't melt off your lips because if it if they go too creamy the lipstick will just come off within five minutes so what products do you use for red lips I just have one red lip liner that I use um, the elf lip liner and blending brush there's a blending brush on one side and the lip liner on the other side I I, this is broken. It's a really nice base for a red lip. Okay, and um, I'd either go really sheer with this YSL lipstick. I, 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 if I use this one, I use it alone, just for a natural ready kind of look. And where I go with this lipstick or this lipstick that I already talked about. I think that's it. Or if I want like a true red, I go for this e.l.f. Essential Lipstick in Posh. Um, let's see. That's the one. Okay, how do you store your lipsticks? I will show you in just a minute. What lipstick do you want next? I've been looking all over for the Rimmel Airy Fairy Lipstick. I've been looking for that since I saw um, Anna Saccone or Style Diet talk about that lipstick. It looks so nice when she uses it and I really want that lipstick but I think it's, I can't find it anywhere, not on eBay or Amazon or anywhere where they sell Rimmel lipsticks and ship them to Norway. So I don't know if it's just discontinued or or what. If anyone knows where I can get the Rimmel Airy Fairy lipstick, then let me know. Also, I I guess I have similar colors to to the next one, but the Rimmel, I don't know, Kate Moss collection, something in number three, looks so nice. So I kind of, I just, I really want that lipstick, but yeah, I don't think I need it. So, um, I'm going to show you how I store my lipsticks in the Alex drawer, but I just want to say um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye! So this is where I store more, most of my lip products. I've got, this is from Morgan or Good Morning, is the name of the storage device. Uh, I've got my lip liners. Uh, jumbo lip pencils, lip glosses, and lipsticks here and here. Um, and so, yeah, if you guys want me to show you this in a separate video, then just let me know.